Hi guys and welcome back to Trash Arts News where we bring you the latest in all things trash arts. Today it's that segment once again, Trash Artists, where we show you the talent from behind and in front of the camera. Today we'll be featuring Mike Peter Reed. Mike Peter Reed is a multimedia artist. He has directed and produced various feature films including Crooked Features, Gain, The Fix, 3AM ASMR, and he runs the ASMR show on YouTube. Mike started working with Trash Arts in 2011, editing The Wasters and Evil. Hi, uh, my name's Mike Reed. Um, I'm a, I guess you could call me an artist, filmmaker, YouTuber, entrepreneur. Uh, I've been working with Sam for quite some years now. Um, I first met him uh, at the now defunct Arts Lodge. Uh, he ran a networking event and uh, I don't know, he just struck me as a, an interesting kind of guy. So, you know, we, we struck up a chat and such. Um, and I don't really remember what happened next, but I do know that I then ended up editing um, The Wasters. And I remember seeing the marketing campaign for The Wasters and thinking, it, it just had, well, it's had a really good poster, like the poster, even today, like, what was it, almost 10, 10 years later? I don't know, not quite 10 years, I don't know. The poster sticks with me, it's very kind of um, a train spotting esque, I guess. Um, but like I say, so kudos to whoever designed that poster. And I uh, see, so yeah, I ended up editing The Wasters, and uh, it's always a pleasure to work with Sam. He's, he's quite sort of free form, you know, as. So as the editor, he allowed me to make creative decisions, which I think, you know, I've worked with some directors who, you know, they treat the editor as a button pusher and it's, uh, it's not the way I like to work, um, especially not, not if it's uh, for no pay, which often, uh, since Sam does a lot of exploitation films, there's not a lot of uh, revenue flowing. And so basically no one gets paid. It's, it's that kind of outfit. But it's fun, um, it's fun and a, a form of addiction, I guess, um, which is why I do it. Um, you know, filmmaking is uh, nothing if not addictive. So in terms of my favorite trash arts film, I would probably say that, um, yes, it is The Wasters, um, simply because, you know, they do say that your first one is often the one you remember most fondly. Um, yeah. I, what else do you want to know? I mean, why not leave a comment or, uh, yeah, just leave a comment and subscribe and like and all that social media stuff that we're all brainwashed to do nowadays. Um, sorry, buddy. Uh, so yeah, um, let's hope that uh, Trash Arts continues as it always has done, very artistically, very creatively very prolifically. I mean, there's, there's never a dull moment at Trash Arts. There's always something shooting in somebody's bedroom or, you know, down the street. Um, I mean, I also uh, represent Merlin Films International, uh, who have recently, I suppose they've served as kind of executive producers, uh, a chap called Phil Linden, who's also in, in the film, uh, a film called Fixer, I think has just wrapped shooting. So, Hope to see a, a rough cut of that in a few months, perhaps. Looking forward to that. So yeah, so I mean, Sam does collaborate with other local filmmakers and kind of you know shady figures, and um, it's all good. And uh, really, you know, the I've seen the scene in Portsmouth go from kind of nothing to just this explosion of creativity and talent, and it's just amazing to see. And uh, and, and obviously great to be part of that. Um, I do consider myself part of that. Thank you guys again for tuning in to Trash Arts News. For daily updates, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.